Welcome to another episode of I Am Trance News. I am your hostess as always, Nirvana Beta, and today we're going to be watching a video um, about a trans person that was attacked on video. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play this video, and then I'll give my commentary after. Just make sure you remember to like and subscribe. Transgender student attacked just off campus and is now reluctant to go back to school. That student spoke to our Leo Stallworth, who has this report. Cell phone video showing multiple teenagers jumping and beating a transgender 14 year old Eastside Lancaster High School student across the street from the school. The attack happening November 10th. You feel like this was a hate crime? Yes. 14 year old freshman Eastside student Antonio Frazier says while the beating was going on, horrible remarks were being made about transgender people. So there was people in the shy. background yelling things, saying things. Y'all make your way right over here. And I don't believe he had any other reason to do it besides that. Antonio has yet to return to Eastside High, fearing it's not safe. Antonio says the attack was sudden and vicious. They, they started hitting the on me. Eastside High School as a whole. We, we want to be able around. to hear something from the students. And then, um, How they're feeling. After that, they, you guys feel free to make your way right over here. The Antelope Valley Union High School District issuing this statement on the heels of the incident. We were deeply concerned when we heard a student sharing that we have not taken action to address their safety concerns because our student safety and well-being is always our highest priority. We want to assure our school community that we are reaching out to the students and their family to gather information and will offer the support that the student may need. Antonio's family says a therapist is helping them cope with the trauma from the attack. We want to make sure that he feels comfortable enough to come back to, to school. So he has, uh, we give him a lot of leeway in how he feels in approaching these types of situations because it is a very um, touchy situation and, and, you know, it impacts us, but it happened directly. The LA County Commission on Human Relations reports hate crimes were up 20% last year throughout LA County. If you could say anything to people out there who practice hate against people of color, against uh, people who are transgender, what would you say to them, man? Just treat everyone the same way. Uh, don't discriminate against people, whether they're a certain color or trans or anything like that. All right, so that's the video. Um, what are my thoughts on this on the video? Hold on. Oh, okay. Um, it seems like the trans person that was attacked was a trans boy, so you know, female to male. Um, I'm not quite sure if the person that was on the video just now talking, um, the black person. I don't know if that was them. It was kind of loud. Um, I just watched this with y'all. Like this, that was literally my first time watching it. Um, what I will say is, it's just sad that um, there's so much transphobia in the black community. There's not even this much transphobia in the white community. Like y'all literally overdo things so much, and that is so that's so irritating. Like, what the hell did that trans person do to y'all? They made y'all want to attack them. Y'all literally, I, as a trans person, I already know what the answer is. Y'all do that for fun. Y'all think it's fun to demean us. Y'all think it's fun to bully us. Y'all think it's fun to attack us. Y'all think it's fun to hurt us. Because in y'all eyes, y'all already know that other people are going to agree with you. Other people are going to feel like that trans person deserved it. You know, black people, descendant of slaves, you know, who should know better, you know, but it's just the sick world that we live in and the fact that so many people like i already said especially black folk that are descendants of slaves who are still fighting for freedom who are still fighting not to be killed on the streets are out here actively attacking people that are on a lower totem pole of respect globally than they are it's just it's just i've already made a video about how i feel about specifically black people th that are descendants of slaves that go around and attack and harass and bully and discriminate against people as if that's not our daily fucking lives. But anyway, I'm, I'm talking about as a black person, not even as a, a, as a trans person, you know, like black people go through all of that. And it's like, we go through it, but then we go and attack and then we go and attack people in the same manner that we are attacking without a care in the world 
It's sick. I hope those I hope those kids I already know them kids ain't gonna get in trouble with school. They probably maybe get a week of suspension if if they tell whoever, whatever, blah blah blah. Right? A week. And then they back in the school with the same person, still harassing them. Still harassing the trans person. Them kids should be ashamed of themselves. Them parent, they parents who are enabling them to do it, and more than likely care more about them being suspended than them actually attacking somebody for no reason. And especially, y'all, especially if that's a trans boy, because that's a trans boy. Then and y'all some cis boys. Why the hell are y'all attacking them anyway? You know, I'm just saying. It be it it just don't even be making sense, the logic. Cause I'm I, and I'm y'all know what I'm thinking, but I'm not going to say it outright because y'all know what I'm thinking. Okay, as far as that go, I don't know. They just I don't know. I would say that you know that they hope they get their justice, but I know that that person ain't going that trans person ain't gonna get their justice. It's they just gonna have to keep dealing with it just like the rest of us do, just constantly having to deal with ignorant ass stuff. Especially if you black and you live in a black community in America. You know, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad as hell that most of those 46 people that have died, it's already sad that they died already. But the fact that most of those trans people are black African Americans killed by a black African American just because they are trans, just because that black man. Thought that felt like, oh, I have power. I have some type of power over you, and people don't really see you as human. So therefore, I should be able. I can just do whatever I want to you. I'm just so happy that we're beyond that point where where these people are killing us and are getting away with it because they say they didn't know, if nothing else. But I'm going into a rant, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. Happy Sunday for everybody who is watching this on Sunday. If you're not watching this on the Sunday when I posted it, then, you know, good morning to you or good afternoon or good night or whatever. And um, let me know what y'all think about this. And 